Yep. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. Okay, and we have the camera on. All right. We have the audio running. Okay, great. It's Quarator's time. Back on Quo Raiders, it's another week here on Cracked, home of the fact. I'm your host, Alex. <laughs> this is Jeremy. He's the other host. What's up? What's up? We're here. we're ready to get some facts on on Quora.com. That's what the show is. Um, is we record. If this is the first one you're watching, that's what the, we record. That's the show. We got a great guest for you this week. You're gonna love him. Uh, right across the pond, we have one of the hosts of the Kill James Bond podcast. It is Devin. How the oh my fuck are you doing? I'm doing great. It's 9 p.m. I'm tired. I'm ready to fucking look at some content and react to it on the internet. Sick. Um, by the way, before we get into this, for the audience, for the comment section, I use they, them pronouns. Yes. <laughs> Please try, just make a reasonable attempt at it. That's all I'm asking. Do I'm, your best. I'm sure the people <laughs> on Cracked who call us pedophiles will be very respectful. <laughs> They can Fuck. use oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I should have shown weakness. In front of that. <laughs> what, what I'm a guy. What I'm the nice fucking uh, logs and stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I'm the one of the Romans. Fellas. Us too. Mm. Yeah, we're yeah. all just classical timber men. <laughs> <laughs> we work in the most dangerous field, timber retrieval. I'm chopping logs every day right, of my life. That's right. Um, yeah, I think they will probably notice that you are not Dan O'Brien, so we'll see if that comes up. Uh, that's usually what we talk about. But um, yes. okay. the other thing okay. we talk about is Quora.com. Devin, you been on this thing? No. You're going to love it. I don't even it. know what it looks like. You're... I can't summon a mental image of Quora.com. Eh, mostly red and it's white. It's red. It's a red right website. Up. Now, I've set my Google Chrome to red colors that's anyway, right. so it is kind of red on red for mine. But the website, it's red. It's red, and it's white. And Imagine it's if Facebook was it. red. Isn't that a I terrifying see. Idea? It's asking me to log in, so I'm not going to trust that. I'm just oh, going to yeah, No, yeah. don't log don't in. Don't do that. You might actually now get emails every day for the rest of your life. I'm not touching that thing with a 10-foot pole. Well, there's, you may get the emails either way. Yeah, People just, just get them. They just show up. They just show like up. A parasite. Um, mm. So, Devin, you're familiar with the show. Of course. The first thing we do is we bookend the podcast by asking a question. And last week we asked a very mm -hmm. insightful question. I do not remember what it was. Jeremy, what was it? Uh, the question was, what if your penis is full of soda? Oh. Ah. Bubbly. Well, you'd hate that. Yeah. I, I bet you'd hate be that, good. wouldn't you? You'd oh. be triggered. <laughs> Liberals. <laughs> <laughs> Liberals hate soda penis. Oh, they get so <laughs> mad. Remember when Bloomberg tried to steal our soda penises? Hey, Bloomberg, take this, and it's the soda inside my penis. I don't know if that affected everybody. Only us with extra larges, am oh, I right? You can't say that. Yeah. You can't say I'm that on crack. I'm like, uh, like a Formula One guy with the champagne and just <laughs> let it go. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Shaking up your penis and just fizz. Are you shaking your soda in there? <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of a penis is the soda, joke. Is the soda okay. is the soda piss or is it cum? <laughs> I, we gotta move on. That's okay, we move on to the question okay. and the mean things people will say to us. Oh, and no one uh, answered it except for our, our listeners. Okay, so no one said anything. And mean. the reason we know our listeners answered yes. it is they listened to the instructions to respond with the words scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. And when you say scrambled eggs, we know you're not some perv in yeah. Tallahassee, and we That's don't right. find out where you work in your last name and That's call right. your office. That's right. Uh, <laughs> so make sure you do that if you're going to comment on one of these. Um, Anders Graham says, David Blaine actually did this trick once when he magicked so orange soda into the piss of a woke liberal on the street. The liberal was scrambling to find out what happened. Liberals are so it's fragile, like, so. like eggs. Thank you for this comment. Is David Blaine based? Based? Yeah. Um, Don't say based on what. <laughs> no, I'll I leave. I I'll leave gonna, the room. I wasn't going <laughs> to. Uh, David Blaine David is like Blaine a, and the Pussy Posse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up to me. I don't need to think about David Blaine hanging out with um, Toby Maguire. Sure. And Al. Getting hit on by a street wizard would be annoying, I feel like. It would be. Well, it, mm. you'd have a real fear that you can't escape. Yeah, sure. Locking horns mm -hmm. with someone uh, with powers beyond this realm. Where now he's I've, just like, pick a card, and yeah. he's like, check you your, your, check your vagina. <laughs> and it's like, is that the card? 
Oh my god! <laughs> it's a, oh. Your the, your vagina is the card in that. Oh thing. yeah, I meant in it, but yeah. That oh, works it's in. Too. Yeah. He's captured your vagina. Well, in that's a card. what he does. He'll be like, "Do you think that you? I know your card, and then it's like it's in your ear or whatever." Yeah, yeah. I don't know what David Blaine is. He he like <laughs> locks himself in a pool and stuff. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I would be successfully seduced if a guy pulled out a photo of my vagina. That would be Just pretty like, cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. your vagina? Like, oh, yeah. fuck. That is. It is. That's okay. what it looks like. Just the huh. odds that you'd have one of every vagina just in case are so small. Like, that's probably mine. I feel like that probably happens <laughs> to, like, most women on the internet at, at any point. <laughs> yeah, People just so. sliding into their DMs to be like, is this your vagina? Hey, and they're like, why do you have that? This is David Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> why do you have this picture of me in my bedroom? I'm stuck in ice again. I need $10,000. <laughs> I get that email every day. <laughs> uh, oh, I was going to go on some rant about how if wizards were real, they'd be fascists, but um, okay. we don't. we don't Because they're old? Well, they're inherently of a different uh, right. realm than us, right? right? They're they, they believe power yields only to itself. That's true. And th thus That's they would true. try to master humans the way that we've mastered the animals. That's right. <laughs> That's I hate to go on my soapbox <laughs> here so early in the show, but in answer to one of your penis is full of soda. <laughs> Wizards are an existential threat. Yes, we must <laughs> defeat them. It's them or us. Make that Harry Potter movie. Hey, make that movie. How about that? We yeah. say that every quarter question. We do. JK, <laughs> I know you. I know you're watching. Absolutely. Make that Harry Potter movie. Yeah, JK. 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 Do you JK. <laughs> it was what we call We're her. On a first name basis. So. <laughs> I was talking to JK. Joan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool. I like his hair. And we keep reading Quora's and he's like, faster. <laughs> <laughs> Not my tempo. <laughs> what will you have to do to meet his tempo? That's what I want to know. Um, okay. All right, well, what are we starting with today? We have a Ooh, great spread we here. We've got a lot of parenting questions. This is querenting. Okay, we haven't done this one in a while. Nope, no, that's that, the bong. It's the green that's one. That's enough. That's enough. There it is. You heard it, it at home. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> These are all of the questions about uh, being a parent, uh, your parents. Really... Free association with the word parent. That's Fantastic. Right. Are any of us parents here? Yeah. No. I like to think okay. we're all parents in a way. Yeah. No, 100%. No, we're definitely the most qualified yes, to weigh in on yes. this, though, because a real parent would have their mind like blurred by the, the process right. of it. We're taking an objective look at this from the outside. <laughs> It takes someone who uh, can step outside. And they love that. Parents do. We all I have, have cats. podcasts. Oh, and are, 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 our podcasts. are our listeners not our children? <laughs> That's true. Our beautiful Fine children. <laughs> Yours was better than mine. <laughs> Devin, you have podcasts. My children better than my listeners. <laughs> 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 okay, well, this is a uh, starter okay. here. What oh, do we I'm got? excited for this. This question. Oh, uh, Rob says that he's kind of our dad. In the loosest way, true. Rob. <laughs> In the loosest way. You're closer to our J.K. Simmons. Yeah, not my tempo. Okay. Uh, okay. This question is, my 18-year-old son just became a first-degree Freemason, and it terrifies me. Am I justified for being afraid? Okay. Every child goes through this. <laughs> I don't know. There's a massive power dynamic shift you have That's to right. reckon with her. Are the Masons a bigger <laughs> force in the U.K., Devin? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, legally. <Is> <laughs> I understand. Uh, Say no more. I, I don't know much about the Masons. Are they like, what's their deal? What are the boys up to? They're like our our little secret society thing that people talk about all the time. But yeah, they're like kind of. We have a Masonic thing. call in Cardiff, I think. Yeah. There's a, it's like a split um, analysis here. Either they. Um, uh, have unlocked like the secrets of Moloch and performed dark rituals to control society, mm -hmm. or it's like a club you can go to to get a job. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's like one, one of the things that's not real, but people every now and then are just like the Freemasons secretly control everything. No, it's, it's like, literally yeah. real. Like there are no, tons I know, but of I'm saying them. Like, yeah. that part of it's not real. They're like every president was a Freemason. It's like yeah, also every president like went to Yale. <laughs> every president owns a co-op. Yeah, like um, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I heard this guy's 18-year-old son is one, so I'm yeah, not terribly right. impressed with him mm -hmm. right now. You got to put in your time. Um, this There is a spooky answer here, though, because Zach Farrar okay. says, Hi there, Freemason here of six years, and then it's hidden behind Quora Plus. What it's kind of powers has this 18-year-old gotten access to that you don't get access to by like just being yeah. an adult? Um, He's got some friends. You know, he could get a job. He could get He's a job. He's got somewhere to hang yeah. out. Yeah. 
It's like most kids, you know, they turn 18, they start like smoking cigarettes. This kid's like drinking mm-hmm. the blood of virgins with the Freemasons. I'm not trying mm. new stuff. I'm afraid my 18 year old is going to smoke cigarettes now that he's a Freemason. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop him because he's a Freemason. He's too powerful. <laughs> he's the governor of Nebraska. A bunch of them showed up and started <laughs> stone cutting my house or something. <laughs> All right, we got more answers on this. Uh, Ian Smith lives in Bermuda. Chiseling. I answered this question. What's up? I was going to say I'm interested in the Freemason. Uh, Microecology in Bermuda. I want to know about that. Mm. This I associate is, Bermuda with not working, and now maybe is, that's privileged. This is like a two thousand word answer, unfortunately. Okay, well, uh, there's a gist first, here, isn't really, it? about the nature of Freemasonry. If your son is joining a regular lodge, part of the worldwide fraternity, I would not worry. The Freemason slogan is "Make good <laughs> men better." Every Freemason Pause. memorizes the phrase, the order is founded on the principles of brotherly love, relief, and truth. That That's is good. the 18th century that now translates in modern language to mutual support and encouragement, charity, and honesty. That's not, that's a good motto for a lodge. Can I yeah, say that? I'm always saying mm. that. Oh, a fraternity could have a worse motto. I'm trying to see if he says anything bad. If you're concerned, look up the ritual and read it. I'd love to join a fraternity. That'd be great fun. It would be kind of fun, right? Such a stigma about joining adult fraternities. <laughs> they don't let you do it, man. You try. They get really mad at you. They call you a sicko. <laughs> it's like you can be an adult student. I'm sure you can right. just like join the, the fraternity here. You can show up at the Masonic Lodge. You know, all of the presidents <laughs> were in a fraternity. That's true. They were mm. all in uh, Alpha, Omega, Phi. <laughs> That's right, Jeremy. I tried to riff one. Uh, that was pretty good. Those are three <laughs> Greek letters you said. <laughs> That's probably one. Yeah, why Who not? would I be to strike you down for that? Um, this guy also says, Freemasonry is a group that helps men learn to speak, to lead, to understand, to be confident in themselves and support them, mm-hmm. supports them in their beliefs and ethics. Uh, Freemasonry is really a secret organization with an elaborate plot to rule the world. It's Though about love, two options. Oh. They're like, which one is it? Is it a place that helps men speak, or is it a place that sacrifices goats and virgins? This is essentially what I said. Also, he yeah. keeps saying mm-hmm. Occam's Razor in it. I don't see. I think he's saying like Occam's Razor is like, um, why would they be the secret society when they could just be a cool group? Which I guess is true. Yeah, but all the secret know. societies want you to think that. It's true. It probably is easier to just be like a cool group than a secret society. Yeah. It feels like a lot more work to set up a secret society than it's, to just like hang out with the boys. You got to confiscate <laughs> everyone's phones in there. Yeah. Hey, no phones. Mm. No phones. Put it in the bag. Put it in the, the Dave Chappelle bag. <laughs> Put it in the Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is watching the door at this. <laughs> He's doing his time. I have a friend who went to a comedy show and um, put his phone in one of those bags, but pressed record right before doing it. And he did record the guy's whole comedy show. Oh! Which I was like, dude, that's illegal. They're going to arrest you. They're going to send you to Ohio-style jail. Yeah, you're going to go to Ohio-style prison. Because uh, Dave Chappelle lives in Ohio. Does he live in Ohio? It, yeah. was, it wasn't a Dave Chappelle show. But that guy I'm, joined the Freemasons, so they yeah. can't touch him now. Yeah, exactly. What Thank I'm God. taking from this post is that there wa- mm-hmm. are 100 answers all by Freemasons, and that Quora yeah. is full of Masons. It is kind of interesting. Huh. Note, as an atheist, that's an interesting start. Um, the Freemasons <laughs> aren't scary. George Washington was a Freemason, so there you go. Along with a whole bunch of the oldest presidents in the United States. It's like, oh, they're not scary. Just everyone who ever led the country was a member. Just some guys who killed a lot of people all together. <laughs> Several slave owning uh, American founders. Uh, um, all right, that's enough of this question, I think. I think it disgusts me. Yeah, move on. Even if George Washington did it. <laughs> um, okay. My husband accidentally pushed our four-year-old daughter off the 40th story window out of anger. How do I prevent my husband from being sentenced to jail? He doesn't need that hassle. Have we done this one before? No. No. There's a lot like this. He doesn't need that hassle really underlines the problem with going to jail, doesn't it? This probably did. This is obviously like a troll or whatever, but I do like the he doesn't need that. <laughs> He's got a lot of stuff going on right now. Here's the thing about my husband. He works. <laughs> Doesn't He's have- got so much going on. As soon as you go to jail, that's the one thing you have going on all yeah, day. That's right. Clear your schedule, pal. Mm. <laughs> He's not cleaning the flat. He's not. Do I we think, think of a second thing that you could do? 
I saw you performing a dance to know, gin yeah. it up there. <laughs> what else do dads do? Come on. What else do people do? <laughs> um, well, do you think the daughter survived? The four-year-old daughter who was pushed out of a 40-story 40, 40 window out of anger? Well, kids are pretty small, and I know bugs can <clears throat> survive that's right. at that height. So. That's true. What are, what are kids anywhere. about little mm-hmm. bugs? I'm always My little that. love bugs. <laughs> we don't have any kids. Yeah, I think he would have meant probably would have mentioned if the kid died in yeah. the in the thing. But actually, to be fair, she maybe she doesn't want him to go to jail, so maybe she wouldn't mention this. Like, <laughs> it would be so funny to write this post and then like the child's fine and not include a parenthesis. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> don't worry. No issue for the child. Okay, some good answers. Child's fine. It was one of those Christian babies out of parachute. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> The the father renounced atheism to protect the baby. So My Christian good. four year old got shoved out a window. <laughs> Um, I accidentally shoved my my baby out of a window, and I renounced Christianity before she hit the ground. So I'm fine. I'm not going to hell. I'm free. <laughs> That's right. This is the hack you can do. People don't know about this. <laughs> uh, Warner Sim says, "Look, sweetheart, we don't need the hassle from you trolling us. Woo! Never do us parents of actual four year olds <laughs> like myself need to read such triggering comments." Yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> Take a <up> fictional <laughs> writing or something. Join a free online class. Enter short story competitions. Or join a properly moderated online fictional role playing group. Or better yet, yep. get out in the real world Say and it. take up LARPing and Say find like minded yes. people who like to make believe things too. There's nothing wrong with it. Just leave oh, no. it to the people who want serious questions and answers. Please. And that's us. That's really good. That has <laughs> 1,000 up us. That's a lot of Quora up us. Yeah. You do not see that every that's day. That's right. Everybody's on. <laughs> um, I mm. really like starting any post with like, "Look, sweetheart." <laughs> you can say anything else. Look, that. sweetheart. Sonic the Hedgehog is actually really cool. <laughs> He's never been pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't no, you join? Up. The law is surprisingly deep. It's really well written when you get into it. <laughs> the sneakers are so detailed. Such mm. sneakers. Um. But uh, yeah, if uh, he's probably going to jail, I don't know how to show it for you. <laughs> Doesn't need that. I just don't hassle. think there's any way. If the last thing They're you not. want to do is go online and admit he did it. Yeah, that's where I'm going to start. Your Honor, he's really busy. He's in a band. <laughs> My husband is Scott Pilgrim, Your Honor. Yeah, <laughs> there's too many girlfriends to go to jail. <laughs> Um, oh, he doesn't have to deal with. He's got to take care of like three or four more ex boyfriends. They're not going <laughs> to yeah. meet him in jail. Maybe, maybe Ramona Flowers dated this four year old, and that's why he threw the baby out of a window. What about? Oh well, in that case, yeah, justified. A B easiest boyfriend on the list. She no turned problem. into a bunch of coins. Love mm. conquers all. <laughs> Thank you for writing in with these parenting questions. We okay. got some other great Let's stuff Let's do uh, historical right. teachings. All right, I might get this one wrong. Hold on. Four score and seven quoras ago, <laughs> we read this. These are history posts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, here's a very <laughs> American question. In prehistoric times when men and women lived in caves, did they really love each other? Say it. <laughs> Pierce the narrative. <laughs> what do we think? I think they loved each other. I'm willing yeah. to say that. I'm 100% happy to put my name down towards that. I think, I think they loved each other were more. In love. Sweetheart, they did. <laughs> <laughs> and they made I think they were romancing. I think so. I don't know why they wouldn't be. From what I've seen in these very suggestive books, they maybe were more in love than we've ever been in our present time. That's right. There are sexy mm. cavemen in books. Look into it. There's one answer This is true. Here. My nan loves it. I know there's <laughs> two answers. All of the <laughs> women in my family all read these books, and they, like, talk about it. Like, what they're the, in I know exactly books. the books you're talking about. What, <laughs> what is this? My family 100% as well. Do you not, do you not know about I this? Need to sexy pull this caveman out. books? Yeah, well, it's not always a caveman, but it can be any all kinds of professions of man, and there's often time traveling. I don't know if caveman is a profession. Well, it is. I th- what else are you doing? Where there's do no you... jobs back then. Yeah, yeah, that's you true. Work? You only oh, live cave. in a cave. You, you know? gotta fight a cave. Caveman. Right. Job to live in a house. Anyway, so the caveman, he somehow finds a modern uh-huh. woman, and okay. he's swinging it the way they don't know how to anymore. Unfrozen caveman lover. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. I was thinking a joke on SNL, but yeah. Oh. I'm sure it was a I love SNL. Yeah. Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, is there anything funnier than Caveman? There you Come go. on. But at the same time, do check out these books. There's 5,000 of them. I will. I've heard of like Bigfoot and stuff like that, where people like have sex with creatures. But what? Not, but not Caveman. <laughs> that's apparently very lucrative online, is to write books about um, women having sex with cryptids. And it'll be like, I fell in yeah, love with a dot, 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 Dracula? I don't believe you that this is lucrative. Really? I think this it's is so lucrative. Out, we should out not. shit. That's fake. It, not that's, real. That's exactly the kind of thing that would be half of the economy yes. these days. I yes. 100% believe yeah. that you can but, make a good living. By the way, this. you do not have to get a degree to write your I Made Love to Frankenstein <laughs> ebook. You can do that at home. No, Save absolutely. The money. It's a great job. We have a lot of impressionable young people. Oh, uh, Rob says look up Chuck Tingle. Oh, I already know Chuck Tingle. We we can get Chuck Tingle. Didn't he get Chuck Tingle on the pod? That sounds pretty realistic. So is this is Chuck Tingle's thing? Is that he just writes like the most, uh, just a sex book about anything? Because I see, I see he's having seems to be. There's a book about having sex with Wordle in this. It's a lot of like. It's like <laughs> the, the the game Wordle. Word salad plus gay sex. This might is just be a, this might be a parody. No, this, they're just like, like that. Most of those are just written for the title. Handsome sentence. Just like food fucked pounds in the my ass butt. The concept of being gay. fucked in the ass. Things yeah. Like that. Physical yeah. manifestation of Wordle pounds my butt is a slightly frustrating but ultimately rewarding and meditative daily <laughs> routine. Wordle's very handsome in some of Ultimately these, rewarding, by the way, means that they came at the end. I think so. <laughs> well, I think so. It was hard, but it was ultimately rewarding. It was yeah. a tough wank. This I'm, is what happened there. I'm looking at these Chuck Tingle books. And I'm thinking, like, mm-hmm. is it, does everyone have abs? Is that it? Yes. It just seems like everyone but me has abs. <laughs> and that's why we're firing you from the podcast. My macaroni and cheese is a lesbian. Also, she is my lawyer. That's yeah. complicated. Yeah. I don't like this guy. <laughs> he pisses me off. I, he makes me bad. Hey, why don't you go to a, a, a forum of uh, asking creative questions while we ask serious questions here on Quora? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Screw you, Chuck. Anyway, so this question is, did cavemen love each other? And, yes, they uh, did. They believed love grew over time. That's from Cheyenne. I think cavemen can love each other. I don't know. We both uh, married people we met in high school. So who are we to be like, no, you have to have a larger community to find love. I, well, that, that's not at all the same. What? No. Jeremy, that's I very like that's different. The same thing. I understand where they're coming from. It's a real place, which is our Neanderthals emotionally developed in a way where they can find love. But many animals can find love. And there's no way to think that these giant sexual brutes weren't mm. f- head over heels with each other in these caves. Now, there's a TV show. It's called Geico's Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> if you're playing Quarator's Bingo at home, Geico's Caveman is the center square. <laughs> um, all right, I don't know. To, we... to circle back on my one, the book I was thinking of was The Clan of the Cave Bear by Gene M. Uh, owl, I think of the cave, and your family tells you that they read <laughs> this book. That's correct. Oh, my nan loved this series. She was reading it all the time. I picked one up as a child and opened it, and it was just raw, just a sex scene straight in the middle. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so 1980 novel, an epic prehistoric <laughs> fiction about prehistoric times. Oh, this is kind of an old one. My mo- my mom was very into the Highlander series, which is now a TV show. Oh, mm-hmm. which kind of I think ruins the appeal to me because the whole point is it's a sexy novel. Mm. If you're, you're like, just watching sex, that's porn. Yeah. That's just, just porn. porn. Like reading about it, that's way more high class. The whole thing where you're just like what the like uh, uh, soft core porn was always baffling to me. Of just like I'm here to jack off, but just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the whole point of Quora is. <laughs> It's literally like half of the website is people just being like, I want to jack off. I'm surprised that wasn't in the baby falling out of window answer about like, don't come on here where I'm jacking off and post about <laughs> four-year-olds falling out of window. <laughs> uh, it's risking it to scroll Quora while you're jacking off. And that's what it's they're there most for. of the you, website. Oh, they're just like answering all of the questions. <laughs> yeah. not sexy enough. Be like, how dare you? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I was looking at a bunch today and like there's so many questions that are just like, my stepmom made me take off all my clothes. What should I do? Get out of that pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to respond to that fast. Yeah, sweet. Like, are you just waiting there holding the phone? <laughs> like, come on, come on. I do like that you can answer them like six years later and be like, don't, don't have sex with your stepsister. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys are yeah, a family. I'm so sorry I'm late. Don't have sex with your stuff. <laughs> All right. I really of... hope you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of George Washington, we have a question about him. Why did oh, George yeah. Washington allow California to be C-shaped instead of shaped like a normal state? which allows it to leach all the valuable coastal property without contributing agriculture back to the country. Devin, you had to know we were going to throw this one at you. <laughs> well, first and foremost, is it C-shaped? Because it kind of, it, it looks like an angled line. It's a wide C. Yeah. It's, it's like some a font J at the fucking best here. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves yeah. and the audience. It's like a backwards J. It's, like a, it's a backwards J. It's a hiragana coup. <laughs> I'm always do saying that because he's a liberal, and California is, of course, a famously liberal state. Yeah, um, that's why he did it. Yeah, it's shaped like a no, J such <laughs> for all the lib jobs they're doing over. Is there. it frustrating that you have to know all of our dumb bullshit, and we probably don't know anything about the UK? You don't know anything about name one county in Britain. Buckingham, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, Buckinghamshire is a county. Well Weeds. Done. They that come counts. at me, bro. They come at me. They <laughs> think I'm not going to have fucking them ready. I'm eating my words here live. This is, this is devastating. For yeah, me. we know all sorts of stuff. I got a whole admiral's uniform I dress up in around the house. <laughs> <laughs> not a British. I do it I've, all I've Googled queen. California. Um, <laughs> it looks nice, you know? Beautiful I'm, state. I'm, a lot of it's a desert and is uh, forbidden to be lived in by man by God, and it's a sin to be there. But God bless her out there. But why did George Washington allow it to be a sea shape? I don't know. Why did he do that? It's, I, do the, this, the interesting part of this is like this is someone aside from the fact that George Washington was not around when the California started Certainly or not. whatever when California <laughs> really you, took vital off. to me um, <laughs> by like a lot of yeah, years, by like, like hundred years. <laughs> 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 There were all these other people. We don't have to talk about them now, but they had California, yeah. and uh, somehow we got a hold of it. Anyway, uh, George Washington. <laughs> Who he was did, there before? He's not picking. He's not picking state shapes. That's all. I'm Mexico, about. I think. You just let them. You just let them show their natural curves. Yeah, exactly. Like Massachusetts just looks like that. George Washington was always talking about how he loved a curvy state. <laughs> 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 they all look like figure eights to him. Ooh, baby. <laughs> just Ooh. trying to carve the country up into figure eights. <laughs> None of them fit together. <laughs> Very into this idea. The old, a real state is one that is supremely wiggly around the border. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know this. It's you, It comes up against a river, so if you look at it on a map, it does this all yes. over the gap. Doesn't Any state with mad? just a straight line, you're not trying. Make yes. it wigglier. The ones that are like rectangles, it's like, go fuck yourself. How dare it you? It can be the same shape. Just greeble it a bit for yeah. me. Yeah. Like, just throw a bit of like wiggles on there, and then we're good. Why don't you make it natural? That's all we're asking. That's all Ohio. We're asking. Come on, Colorado. <laughs> Come on, Come Iowa, on. maybe. I, I'm in dangerous <laughs> I'm territory. Wyoming. I don't know the states that well. Wouldn't you feel better if it was wigglier in Wyoming? I think I know I would. you would. I'd probably remember them more. Yeah. Um, it's hard when they're like rectangle 34. Which one's that one? Exactly. Yeah, I think they're. Yeah, this is the part of the show that appeals to ten year olds a lot. It's like yeah. learning states is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have natural boundaries. Ten year olds love our show, <laughs> and you know who hates our show? Those stinky teachers. Ugh. Always giving us homework. Yeah, here's my mm. homework. I'm going on Quora. Tell your mom to go to Patreon.com. Patreon.com. We got all kinds of resources over there. <laughs> you can print out crayon drawings. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, I, any I, ten year old listening, all we need is the number on the front of your mom's credit card and those three <laughs> fun little digits on the back. Those, Just send them to us. The security code is important though, all joking aside. Anyway You do have to include the security code. Please include include the security mm -hmm. code. What did what kind of means things are people saying? Mostly this people are bad about the timeline here. Oh, uh, no, are you talking about fine. George Washington, the first president? We did not own California at the time. In fact, we knew very little about the West past the Smoky Mountains. Did you flunk history? That's Linda Morrow. Now, there are probably people who were named George Washington in the time that California was made into a state. And my question is, why did they allow it to be C-shaped? Speak on it. Right? Speak mm -hmm. on There's it. There's probably people named George Washington right now. If you are George Washington, you are complicit. Yeah, exactly. Why you, not? You you see shapes as uh, states. How dare you? I think we're on the same page here. 
I just um, think we should try a triangle, you know? Yeah. They're all squares and like parallelograms. <sighs> Vermont throw is in a, a nice, triangle? like, <laughs> throw in a nice triangle. I mean, uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Whatever that? that one is up top there that looks vaguely triangle shaped looks is a bit it, triangle. It would have been Vermont? better if I knew the name of it, really, to make that point. It's However, it's got to be um, Vermont. Th- Michigan? Oh, maybe. Michigan. You're looking know. at half of Michigan. I can tell. Vermont. It's Vermont, baby. Look at that beautiful triangle. This sucks. We're just discussing the shape of states. This, this is bad podcast. <laughs> this is not There's good. There's no triangular state. There should be one. That's my stance here. <laughs> Right. I agree. I don't think mm-hmm. any of them are triangles, and it would be misleading to say they are. I agree. Now mm-hmm. let's look at Quora, where someone has posted a picture of Dave Chappelle from the early 2000s saying, really? How stupid are you? Really? And that person, I think, has a nude photo as their profile Check picture. out memecreator.com. Should I you click can on this person's Dave nude Chappelle photo? In there? Um, nah. Nah, we, nah, nah, they're good. Well, I can't see it, so what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> um, get that in the chat. Different story. Monty says, what the hell are you smoking? Washington died 51 years before California <laughs> became a state. Check into an asylum. Check into an asylum, all caps, by the way. Get, just show up to an asylum and say, why did George Washington allow California to be a state? <laughs> and they'll lock you up. I don't know enough about mm-hmm. history. Put me in there. All right, let's go on to Quinsel Town. <laughs> okay, okay this now is we're our talking. movie and celebrity questions about... <laughs> There we go. I got it. You heard this song before? I got to hear it now. That's the Hollywood song. This is our number one most <laughs> te- glitterized segment, Tinsel, Quinsel Town. And we got some Alex, really good ones. did you ones. remove the James Bond question we had? Oh, no. I just thought maybe I didn't copy it over, but oh. I can find it if we you We should wanted. do that one, though. That was the one we found for Devin. <laughs> oh, the only true. one we found for Devin. the one that you found for me. <laughs> and we removed it back. Throw it out. Devin's still winding it up at the plate. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I think I'm it got trying. deleted. Nah, nah. It got removed I need, I need somehow. To name a state. That's all I need to do here. I got you. Here, tell me some more about some states you know. <laughs> Matter. I mean, Tennessee's long. Um... We don't have to do this. Oh, there's some problems with Rhode Island and Connecticut. What's going on over there? All right, I've anyway. got a quick. We great don't question know. For us. Here we go. Let's. <laughs> this was so important that we found it. We just had to Thank take you. the time to make sure this got done. Now, Devin, <clears throat> this question is: Does James Bond have to be British? No, that was an Australian one. Boom. No. Boom. Which so, one? The, <laughs> George Lazenby, baby, That's the second right. James Bond. That's right. That's I a watched crazy a documentary name. about him. You did? Yeah, I did actually. What happened? He was uh, James Bond for like twenty seconds. Yeah, if he did one movie yeah. and then dipped, and it was great, and it's ideal. Uh, and then he went on. We loved him. We, we was a huge fan of him on the Kill James Bond podcast. And then he went on stage in Sydney and said a bunch of old white guy shit. Nice. I and can't we imagine. Went, Uh-oh. <laughs> we shouldn't have said that we love this guy quite as much as we did. Let me just say, I sign up for everything this man says. Mm. Cosign whatever it is. In perpetuity. He was an actor in 1967, you say? Cosign. Cool. <laughs> I bet this guy's opinions were great. He's probably cool, like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> um, this Brosnan's Irish as well, so really, no. I guess will be the answer to that one. These are all domains of the Queen. This is true. This is true. That's the right. next James Bond could be from any domain yeah. of the Queen. So Canada. Canada. Is, Canada is we're a looking Canadian at you. Bond. Come we're on. We're looking at you. Let's get Justin Bieber in there. That's like a an angry like rage bait article from 2006. Justin Bieber, the new James Bond. Oh, who's gonna be the next James Bond? Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> These are all great James Bonds. I would love to see a James Bond, Seth Rogen, mm-hmm. chiefing that Chibo while he does it. I mean, what would that be like? It's James Bond. <laughs> That's Seth Rogen as James, James Bond. Bond. Nice, very good, very good. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I have to kill you? <laughs> that's what it would be like. Um, and he does have some movies that do uh, brush into the topic. That's but, right. Um, I guess, Devin, on, on your show, do you find mm-hmm. anything quintessentially English in the way James acts? Yes, in the he is a nonce and um, let's call a rapist and things like this. So oh, it's James. not great. I think there's a core Britishness to James Bond that unfortunately can't be disentangled um, as much as everyone would love to. Uh, I mean, of the he's... whole empire thing. And <laughs> he's in MI6 for one, right? Mm. 
Or is it the five? first James Bond movie is is set in Jamaica, and this was filmed at a time when Jamaica was still like a holding of the crown. So this is just it's imperialist from minute one. There's no way he has to be British. <laughs> he has to be British. He's definitely killing all those people for a good reason. Mm-hmm. That's the if you're not on board with that, you are going to have a poor time as he shoots a guy with metal teeth in his mouth. <laughs> That's his main goal. Does Jaws have metal teeth? Oh, a hundred percent. Okay, thank you. I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I was being gaslit by the show. I don't know. To not assuming Jaws no. has metal teeth. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what does Quora think on this? Uh, the character James Bond has to be British. There's a canon backstory about how he was born to Scottish parents and grew up in Scotland. Quite separately from that, he's an agent with SIS. What's SIS? It's sudden infant what the hell is syndrome. He talking about? <laughs> it's when you suddenly have an infant. <laughs> He's uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I watched all of these movies quite recently. I would have noticed this. Uh, the actor oh, MI6, I think. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure. Is MI5 is like it's... the FBI for England? It's like the national one, and then MI6 yeah. is the international one? That's how it works? I, I'm going to say 100% yes, and let's not check. Okay, yeah, I feel 100% yes. Yeah, why not? I feel like it. Okay, do we have anybody being mm-hmm. based in here? No, I'm trying to find a- angry people. Um, They're all yeah. just movie fans, it turns out. Yeah. It's not like really going like, anywhere. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a shame. Fun. Mm, sorry, go on. Uh, well, I feel like we've fully answered the question. I you think know? it would be fun to make an American James Bond movie where he's just, like, from Kentucky. Oh, okay, like he's countryfied. Yeah, he's country James Bond. I think they should. Shake they should not experiment. Is yeah, it, the king. I the almost said bond. the Kingsman did that, but the they Kingsman. didn't really. No, he's they're pretty British. damn British in that. <laughs> they had Channing nah, he's, Tatum. He's did the that? king's man. I mean, yeah, famously, he does anal. It's in the movie. Yeah, that's a weird movie. <laughs> it's it's like P I P O V. You are the penis's head, and there's anal. <laughs> that's how it ends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's another question. <laughs> <laughs> if Michael Corleone came out as transgender, would Vito have been supportive? This is interesting from a film from perspective. From the Godfather. From the God. Wait, now, Michael is the son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if he came out as transgender in 1946. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And his when father God, the is. The Godfather came out in the 40s. <laughs> Famously a 40s no, It's film. about the, what, the 50s? Is it about the Does 50s? it take place in Marta? It's not know. important. We clearly it's don't know movie, the movie. It's about the past, so it's. Oh, you're right. It is the 40s or 50s. Right? I'm wrong. Well, why da, might... Jeremy? You try to Get shoot me down. Head. I thought you were saying it was a movie that came out in the 40s. As a godfather yourself, trying to protect Michael, trying to say <laughs> Michael can do whatever he wants. He's from a very conservative background. I think Vito would be supportive, right? I think this. I mean, Michael was always the sweetheart of the group, anyway. You know, he's yeah. sort of a daddy's boy. He's clearly the favorite. Oh, 100%. I mean, that's why he gets to be the godfather. <laughs> Am I right? Am I crazy for thinking that? All right, now Jeremy's just playing the oh, godfather really. music. If you don't know that, this is uh, check out the godfather. We own the rights check to this. Check out the godfather. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to get in trouble for doing that, aren't we? Never mind. Forget I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, the, Vito loves Michael. I think he'd support whatever's going yeah, on. Yeah, I over think there. so. Thank you, Gore, for this question. I honestly, mm-hmm. I bet that this would be a good fanfic. Throw this on uh, Ao3. Sure. Right? Why not? I bet it's already there. Sonic the Hedgehog, you come to my room asking me for a favor. There's going to be a consequence. <laughs> you come to me on the day of my daughter's gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> You don't even think to bring me a gift, you know? <laughs> I don't know. What am I thinking of a gift? Do you get a gift after gender reassignment? I feel like you should, right? Like it should yeah, be like a uh, like a new pussy ceremony sure. for you. <laughs> is it implied that the gift is the pussy? I think that you should get them like a very stereotypical gender gift. You know what I mean? Oh. Like if someone's like transitioning as like a trans man, like I'd want to get them like a real like guy. Thing. Yeah, I got you a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, now you can kill yourself like like the rest of us. Let's go. (laughs) You can go to work with this leather belt. (laughs) Man, an axe for timber. We're back on timber. We're back on timber. And folks, we're back on timber. Um, Teach a trans man how to shave. I mean, that's always nice and nice and useful stuff. Sure, yeah, that's a good one. 
Have hmm. any of you ever gotten a shave at a proper barber shop? Sure. No. You have? Yeah, I think so. Well, how was, was it? it? <laughs> Fine. I don't Speak know. Speak on it. What, what's going on? I, I, I've never done that. I don't know if I have. I feel like I have, but I don't remember. You would know, buddy. <laughs> you okay, would know. So the answer is no, no, and maybe. Great. Right. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. I what dream do about it every like? night. It's confusing. <laughs> I'll give you a shave on the podcast one day. As a bonus. 2,000 patrons were shaving Jeremy on the pod. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting shaved. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. Um, all right, let's move know. on to another question. There's no <laughs> answers here. I really am dying to read, I'm guessing. Um, mm -hmm. They're pretty negative, honestly, about Michael and Vito. Uh, I think they're a beautiful a family. Shame. That's a shame. I'm we sure got to change that supportive. culture. And that's why know. I'm making the Vito, Godfather 4. I think he'd be supportive. You know, he's an old man. He's at the end of his, his life. You know, he knows that the, the future is going to be different. Maybe this is what the difference is. You yeah. Know, is that the head of the mob's going to be a woman. The I Godfather fandom is just so toxic. Mm. It's, it's <laughs> terrible. They just want all the all the people to look so hot in it. Release the coordinator's <laughs> cut. <laughs> if we cut the Godfather. <laughs> it's way worse now. <laughs> it was fine to before. Work so hard to have a trans positive reading of yeah. the Godfather, but we can do it. We can figure it out. We had to do a lot See of ya. like dubbing where like <laughs> characters are turned backwards and the and Vito's just like, and also if you were trans, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with it. I think love is love. They massacred my trans boy. <laughs> my trans mask boy. <laughs> what a powerful film. Now, this is kind of an, a departure okay. from film into the world of music. music. We don't cover yeah, this too much, no. except for Eminem in the movie Venom, which yes, we will right. not be discussing nope. today. This next question is, is BTS part of the Illuminati? Mm. Mm. Triangles. Oh, no. Triangle. I don't really up. know anything about BTS. Um, well, there's a bunch oh. of boys. A bunch of boys. They sing and they dance. They're fooling around. They're fooling around. Is, they, are they, is BTS still singing? I thought they were an army now. They, I think they signed up for the army. You're allowed to sing in the army. Yeah. Every, <laughs> stop every troop singing. has one guy who sings. From what I've seen on TikTok, the army is mostly singing and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> a coordinated circle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, this goes right back into our Freemason question. Right. <laughs> Are they part of the Illuminati? Somewhat of a theme today. Is there an Illuminati in Korea? Um, I guess they're. Are they Korean global? Illuminati. They must be, right? That, the whole concept. <laughs> yeah, is man. That there's global. a there's a church that's way too close to the president. That's that, right. All this this is big big geopolitical news. It happened, and I remember it, but I don't remember any of the details. But definitely yes. One of my big uh, uh, soapboxes Shit. is that the Korean Illuminati is too powerful over the Japanese Illuminati, <laughs> and that they need their own space. <laughs> I like the idea of going to an Illuminati meeting with all of the like old, powerful people and being like, have you guys seen BTS? We got to get them in here. <laughs> These meetings are going to pop. Because they're all like, what, 17 right now? <laughs> so like it had to be recent. I think they're like, they're older now, but they were, they were like child stars. Right. So, and that's what you want in the we Illuminati. We got to get these guys in here. They can do private shows for us. Just, we got to draw a little pentagram in their chest or whatever. But like, they do pretty much have a private army. They're in, oh, the Illuminati? Yeah, like, B, no, mm. BTS, BTS could probably, like, yeah, set BTS off. BTS Army. We might get in trouble just for saying this. A violent purge tomorrow, yeah. They, they'll they kick you out of Illuminati if someone's trying to give a speech and you're just, like, yelling over them, just like, yo, Stan Jungkook. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. <laughs> this is T. We're trying to have a meeting. Um, Please shut up about Jimin. We're talking about <laughs> global politics. <laughs> We're trying to run the world here. Maybe they were created by the Illuminati. Maybe that's the theory that the Illuminati was like, we need mm. a boy band on our side. Let's bring uh, Korea's hottest boys together yeah and you, you know sing and dance <laughs> just off the top of our heads let's all name how many people we think are in bts so. oh I think no like 11 at least <laughs> i was gonna say seven or eight but i really don't know i'm gonna lowball it in case it's like closest without going over i'll say six all right that's now, smart that's smart bts all right. and that way if there's three Jungkook. i get the most money i think there's money on the line has anyone ever done Come carl away. young kook before has that been done that's good all right. You got to okay. go One, back to 2018. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. 
There's Fuck. seven. You nailed it, bro. I fucking nailed it. I'm the world's you biggest. You know exactly how many people are in BTS. He's fun, man. He pretends. The comments are going what insane is it? right is it now. Jay Hope, what? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh wow. They're also oh, known as the this? bulletproof God. boy yeah. scouts. I was gonna say. Also known as the Bang Tan boys. If you try to kill these boy mm -hmm. scouts, you're in trouble. I did not know that they stood for anything. I. I kind of just assumed it was behind the scenes. <laughs> if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. BTS. It's true. Too cool for school. Now, the Quora BTS answers. Just it's army at the moment, I think. It stands for the South Korean army. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at, at the moment, uh, there there's some polarizing responses in the thread. We have a strong yes and a strong no. I, just say, okay. I, I do think that North Korea should get in on the Korean boy band movement. It's, you know, resource Get a wise, rival just really BTS. Hard. Yeah, That'd be dope. I have a lot of ideas for North Korea, and they are yeah. not taking my mail at the moment. <laughs> the coordinators goes to North Korea. <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of like tips. Me too. And stuff. Me too. I, know, I could like launch their podcast wing. I agree. That's actually like the only thing I could do. That's but right. I could do a pretty good job at it. Yeah, I've just been clips. there in the corner. They have like a lieutenant from their army. And I'm like, just keep vamping. <laughs> think, Say anything. Do you think Kim Jong Un <laughs> needs clips? <laughs> you you think gotta think be on videos? social media. You need reels, bro. <laughs> Okay, I'll just read like that. Off at the side, at like a big speech, it's like just into the microphone, just a bit closer. <laughs> Kim, Kim, you're too far God, away. You just, you just hear like just him eating all the time. <laughs> Stop eating on mic. Kim, that's the problem. Kim Jong Un has awful mic discipline. Oh, yeah. He's never waiting for anyone to stop talking. The whole whom among us <laughs> he's talking before he's introduced on the podcast it's oh, tragic stuff that's on. why we need to ship alex into north korea yes i will halo drop yeah i was gonna say like an <laughs> ODST. Exactly <into> <laughs> yeah, i was about to say we want donations for this but actually we're already gonna do this don't worry this is already set there is an arrangement with the united states military i will be killed before landing and that will be used as precedent <laughs> now back to this Bro, Quora answer. Playing with a Christian baby over North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Christian baby is not okay. Uh, Angraha Sweetie Ar says yes, of course they are. Can I interrupt you real quick and just okay. remind everyone the question is: Is BTS part of the Illuminati? Thank you, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Angraha Sweetie Ar, <laughs> she possibly says yes, of course they are. First of all, I was in army and I am not proud to say. <laughs> I have to say this for other armies that I don't know the dark side K-pop world. <laughs> and so it kind of goes off from there, but there's strong yes there. And then we have another answer from Ale Alizana Nash with an X. And they say, my answer is no, because if they are part of the Illuminati, would never feel a pain, hate, and hardship in their life as K-pop idol. And as for their MV, it's just for people who love entertainment. Wow, that's great. Amen, man. It's a complicated it's question. Just the what first I was one. They also say, um, sorry, P please, armies, don't take Illuminati as a joke. It is dark. If any armies are seeing this, please get out of K-pop world. They really will destroy you. <laughs> Corporal, I've read something quite disturbing. <laughs> <That's so hard. laughs> we need to change the Illuminati policy. <laughs> um, yeah. She's, mm. she's got a lot of theories about the k-pop world i don't know i think the first one was far too confident it makes me think she maybe has some insider information here well either her, about you know bts or about the illuminati either one her source seems to be someone's dream oh uh, okay that's a good source that's fair <laughs> if the illuminati is dark and powerful i'm not putting dream manipulation out of the realm of possibility here either hmm um, she says, let's start. When it's I was possible. hearing these songs, when my father was having a bad feeling about him, he was a presbyter. I didn't listen to him, but I was worried it was something like this. So I started checking Google. Then I saw someone share their experience. And she said, her mother had a dream that BTS member Jungkook's tattoos turning into demons. Then I remember something I also had a dream like Jungkook fully turning into a monster. But at that, what? I didn't take it seriously. But when I saw this <laughs> experience, symbolic. I just got remembered. And then I started searching all the other K-pop, and it really was shocking. Everything had a dark feeling. All groups had a song about the fallen angel, and I've had enough, so stopped searching those. And I really wanted to share this with you guys. Please, armies, okay. don't take Illuminati as a joke. If please, you, army, don't take Illuminati as a joke. Please, armies. Please, armies. <laughs> please, armies. <laughs> if you have a dream about Jungkook's tattoos turning into a monster, report it to someone <laughs> with, with a lot of guns, if you can. 
It's clearly yeah. symbolic. He's in the he's in the Illuminati. This is There's her no only answer. So she has been disappeared. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's a damn shit. But okay, definitely yes. Then fine. <laughs> got to the bottom of this. This, this is what More happens if you address very, very armies scary. first. Uh, the, the thing you do. Okay, let's mm. uh, let's get the next question going here. We got a lot of great stuff. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, this is Some our religion that. segment. Corbid and fruit. Okay. <laughs> no, nope, that's not it. There we go. That was not a real siren. It's worry. a big day for getting the second time right. <laughs> it's beautiful. Again, if you're doing the corbid as bingo at home. You, you will have already ticked that off as well. That's true. You may be getting close to bingo, and I yeah. do not know what you win. I don't know. It's probably. <laughs> uh, a bunch so of wet clothes. We're here on uh, the Corbid and Fruit segment. This is all of your mm -hmm. religion questions. Your questions that are more spiritual than others. Um, now, we talk a lot about um, the different fates here on the show. Sure. And it's a, it's a charged time to kind of get to the bottom of like your relationship with God. And so this question come it springs from that. It says, "Do Muslims not realize there are pork molecules in everything they eat and drink due to Avogadro's number?" Checkmate. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Avogadro's so number, I I looked it up before this. It's kind of just like there's so many molecules. That's what it means. It's like, oh, there's a lot of molecules. So his number is just all the molecules? Yeah, it is actually. That's, I should have fucking picked that. It's like that all number. of the molecules <laughs> in like a, uh, in a, uh, of any gas, gas present. present. Avogadro's uh, constant or whatever it was. It's the, the number of molecules in one square meter. Yeah, one a, mole. Gas is like the molar value of it or something like that. Yeah. Do you got the number on you? Yeah, we got, the, we got it pulled up. We know it. You got the number? Oh, I definitely don't. I'm not even going to give it a shot. It's something to the power it's of fucking 10 to the 1. Or whatever. Six, and then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we, are we doing zeros, or is it times 10 well, there's to a the power point. of like 7 here? Okay, you know what? I'll wow, give you most of sucks. it. I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you most of it. Why? This is good content. I can name states if we want as well. Like this is good stuff. All right, six point zero two three mm -hmm. times ten to the what? <sighs> We're talking Avogadro's well, number. Slam that like button. Yeah, we'll give you a hint. Jim Carrey's freaking out about this one. It's the number oh. twenty three. Twice in there. The number twenty three. Yes. Two times. You see it everywhere. Boom. It's Avogadro's number. Yeah, that's right. Um, avocado. It's avocado's number. Uh, it's fine. I get if there's pork in everything because of the avocado number. Like ultimately, <laughs> it's just nothing's changed. Then I guess so. You just carry on as I guess. It's just status quo. Back to what we were doing before. Then. <laughs> yeah. like, oh no! Oh well. Uh, we're all stardust. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Um, I thought the I thought the implication was that there's pork and everything because humans are like long pig. <laughs> that was what I interpreted yeah. the question as originally. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's actually no. way dumber than that. No. <laughs> Pork's just off gassing naturally, so, so should be fine, I guess. Pork is biting human meat so hard. It's so cringe how badly they want to be human yeah. meat. <laughs> we get it. You want to be me. We taste way better. <laughs> we can get super fat if we want. Two we thousand just patrons. We will to. eat man. We're gonna mm. eat. One of us will be eaten live. <laughs> one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Who will it be? Vote in the comments. <laughs> uh, all right. The vote. <laughs> I'll read one of these. John Perfect. says pork molecules. Mm. I'm a straight A student of biology, and I'm completely confident nerd. there is no such thing as a pork molecule. Shut up, nerd. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Try the fuck up. <laughs> Smoke this Bounce cigarette. This guy. <laughs> this, guy this guy's <laughs> thing, his bio says Japanized American. Now, I don't think this man is Japanese. I he think looks, he is saying he is a weeb, but in like the weirdest way. He looks so white. I've spoken Japanese since I was a teenager, lived in Japan on and off for a total of 18 years. Originally from the United States, transplanted to, in Los Angeles. I go back and forth between LA and Tokyo area of Japan. He is a Japanized American. So he's pretty Japanized, isn't he? <laughs> what the mm. fuck does that mean? Well, it means he he gets us straight A's. And Do you feel like you're Japanized? 
No, he's straight well, A student. I'm not. A but, well, hang on, wait a minute. He's been back and forth to Japan for 18 years, and he's like a straight A student. Like, did he start going as a child, or is this guy like an adult man? <laughs> he's an adult. Being like, I got all A's when no, I was in school. By the way, he's fully an adult actor, astronomer, Wonderful. and the best photographer I can afford. He's a Doogie okay. Howser ass. They're flying him all around the world. <laughs> when you are, when you out of out of school, you're no longer a straight A student. Yeah, don't I agree tell with me that. your fucking grades, man. I don't want to hear about it. It's ridiculous. Um. Anyway, mm. yeah, he says uh, people are mad that people that no problem at the idea of a pork <laughs> molecule, which I guess it does make sense that like you could like put something under a microscope and be like, that's pork. Ah, uh, the, the, the pork it? cells are multiplying. I don't know. A molecule don't even so. smaller than a cell. I'm reading. Yeah, I'm mm. always saying that. <laughs> Big episode for molecule facts. is one of the smallest things that there is. It's up there with the atom, folks. It's crazy mm. how much people are learning. Do you think you can make a it's, it's, bomb by splitting a pork molecule? Sorry, what were you saying, Devin? <laughs> no, it's just one step above atom, and then you're at molecule. That's small, all right? This is a big I'm not even thinking thing. about cells here. If, you, if you're an atom, you can't even conceive of being a molecule. It's so much bigger than you. That's right. It's a lot like joining the stonemasons. <laughs> yeah, that's how big it Becoming is. Becoming a molecule as an atom. You're in the lodge with presidents, <laughs> pork-wise. You're part of a collective now. It's bigger than and yourself. You're pork. <laughs> Yum. Uh, um, do you want to read one more question and then call it an episode? <laughs> yeah, let's do. Let's go out on a good one here. Wait, oh, right, do do the resume one. Okay, okay. this is the quirk yeah. place. Okay. This is our work-related Quora questions. We're all cool job owning, having people. I'm sure. Great quirk place. Job having, I don't know. Here's a question: I Should I put my IQ on my resume? Okay. No. Definitely yes. Really? Yes. I feel like that's I, a well, crazy. Whatever decision. it is, it's gonna be funny to me. So 100 percent put it on there. <laughs> if you're looking for a way to stand out, they're gonna remember the person who had their like brain mapped out and sent it to them. My mm -hmm. this guy I hated in high school had uh his, his mom had her IQ in her email. In oh, her email like address. a sign off. No, like oh, in okay. the address. That's good, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I got that in my email sign off just after in before date them. <laughs> Everyone knows what they're dealing with. It's 98. <laughs> I got everything I need to know. Was it like mm. a really high IQ? Um, it's God, pretty I high. Think. I don't want to say it because I think it's still her email. Okay, yeah. So what if what if people start emailing? I don't her? need people emailing this do, woman do from not my childhood. Email her. I really don't want it to happen. She's wiser but, than you possibly could yeah, know. Well, you don't have to read out her email. It's just like, what was the number? You can just give us a number. Well, was it Avogadro? Like, give me the full details on it. Um, it was uh 140. Mm. That's high. That's pretty yeah. good. I'm I would that in my email. I put that in my resume. <laughs> I'm putting that in my. I'm plotting your Google downfall username. from home. <laughs> I've got a Rubik's cube I solve absent-mindedly while we talk. That's right. Yeah, mm. you know, really it's floating around her. <laughs> Several Rubik's cubes. I'm on Mars and I'm frowning. Um, when I was in the car with her, I think two times she drove the wrong way down a street. Oh, so she that's had, crazy. She was really smart. Kind of an alternative thinker, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do things differently. Take the road less traveled. And by that, I mean take the regular road, but backwards in a way that's very dangerous. <laughs> what I like about the answers of this question is it is full of people who have been there before. <laughs> <laughs> you guys being like, don't. It feels like a great idea at the time, but you shouldn't be doing this. I totally get why you want to. I made the mistake of mentioning I was a Mensa member on a resume for a past job. I didn't make the mistake oh. of revealing some of the high scores. I found that as a result, management tried to squeeze extra work out of me. So this person's like, they will hire you, and they'll make you do more work. They're going to be working you like a genius dog. That's crazy. That's funny. I also, I have That's to good. mention, the per person who mentioned they were in Mensa on their resume, their name is Eusebius. <laughs> Eusebius Clay. Come on! Inventor of the seed squared keyboard. That's pretty good. What is that? It's the seed, well, we, uh, we all know keyboards. He invented the C squared keyboard? We're I'm, looking. And we're gonna find out that that for you folks. I don't see anything. Don't go anywhere. No, what's going on? I don't know what this is. Whatever. This is a great keyboard. keyboard. You gotta buy like one. California. Buy a keyboard. <laughs> Check <laughs> it out. Exciting stuff. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm on the wrong Quora. I'm a mess. <laughs> He's a mess. 
Uh, you'll be seen as an ar- arrogant douchebag no matter how you downplay Late. it. Haha, ha, I had it once, never again. I can't say I found any positive interaction with it whatsoever. You might as well try. This is an insane decision to make. Also, this guy has his IQ in his Quora body. <laughs> it's because He's the IQ has been burned before. <laughs> <laughs> the still, to be actually Quora probably the only place it's a good idea to that's include right. that. I was about to say it is the IQ number is for your Quora page specifically. There's oh, no way to check it. Like what's stopping me from just like putting 185 as my IQ on a resume? Jeremy, that's hey. pretty smart. You may be a IQ of 185. Maybe I am really smart. Exactly. Maybe I am if you can figure out how to game the system like that. One question: Put How do you drive there. on roads? Me? Yeah, standard. I find my own way. <laughs> okay. Freestyle. I don't know. I'm going my own way. This guy. He's a he's a real asset. I'm a man going a my loose own cannon way. I just want to roads. call. I did not read any of these comments before I called that they would all be people who did this, and I was 100. percent Wow, dude, called your shot, bro. From downtown. That nose Quora. <laughs> all of these guys are gonna have done it. <laughs> <laughs> the computer's having a hard time. Here. Yeah, it's not loading any more answers. But needless to say, we are getting too close to the truth. I want mm-hmm. to see if there's any that need improvement, because usually those are the best ones. All right, here we go. Let's see. No, all caps. <laughs> if being a member of a high IQ society is something you are proud of, then you should admit, uh, add it to the personal interest section of your resume. Alternatively, you could perhaps include in your cover letter. That's insane. Yeah, just slip it into funny. the cover letter is, is uh, advice. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just slide that you've got like a Mensa membership and you're a stonemason and you're the Illuminati on BTS. I got uh, straight A's in high school and I'm 32 and this is my. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been in Japan for 18 years. And I'm, I'm um, Japanized. I'm pretty much Japanized. <laughs> <laughs> Japan- <laughs> Japanized. <laughs> Japanese? No, I'm certainly not Japanese at all. Everybody gets confused there. <laughs> yeah. No, I just like it. I just like it. <laughs> anyway, I do need money. <laughs> I am broke. Uh, okay, this I is think just that's called all. moving to Japan. I don't know what you can do. That that's legal. It's fine. It's legal and it's fun. You don't have to invent a word for it. I'm worried my son has become Japanized. <laughs> Maybe that should be our Quora question. Oh, interesting. That's funny. Then nobody nobody comes to Britain describes themselves like anglicized, right? Well, so. they, I mean, people do call themselves uh, anglophiles. Should, that's a big thing. Bad call. It's yeah. I've seen Anglo's. It's mm. weird. Weird thing to say. Don't throw file mm. at the end of that. They're always having fish and chip. They always are. Well, fish and chip pretty decent. <laughs> having a <laughs> ale. Fish and chip. An ale? Yeah, these are the things they're oh, up to yeah. over there. Mm. We know yeah. everything about pies, the UK. things like this. I'll call them right. like and mash, you know. Of the shepherd's variety. Um, toad in the hole. Things like this. These are all things that they do. Mm. <laughs> Pigs in blankets, but it's it's a sausage wrapped in bacon and stuff. Oh, of. that's not what we do it. That's not how we yeah, do no, it. Yeah, no, we do it here. different over here. We Y'all ain't from around weird. here, huh? <laughs> Culture nah. is so fascinating. There's so many different ones. And uh, we love to celebrate it here on the Quarators mm-hmm. program. Uh, let's get our question in yes. and we will wrap this thing up. Devin, so. do you have a question you want to ask Quora? It's hard to choose, isn't it? I don't know, man. I, I kind of want to tr- like really hone in on this Japanese thing. Like anglicized, something like that. Sure. I'm worried that my son has become anglicized from watching The Crown. Yes. Oh, that's good. What should I do? Something like that. Yeah, that's great. And that way we can get our son involved. Mm Mm-hmm. People have been catching on by reading my other posts (laughs) that I (laughs) seem to have a varied life from all around the world. They shouldn't be doing that. It's cheating, quite frankly. (laughs) Answer the question. (laughs) What is my son doing? (laughs) What am I supposed to do about my son? Okay. Uh, She's talking about Diana all the time. <laughs> it was a people's princess. Shut up, John. It's fine. Go to bed. She was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's an anti-Diana. Yeah, he thinks he, she thinks she's so good. <laughs> well, not anymore. Oh, Six feet piss. deep. <laughs> Camilla seems nice. I'm my, sure she's fine. My son keeps calling people cunts now that he watches The Crown all the time. <laughs> they gotta stop that. All right, we're wrapping up the show. <laughs> Devin, yeah. thank you so much for coming on, Quarators, the number one show for Quora answers and questions. Where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Well, you can you can go to x.com, the dying website, uh, find at Devon underscore on Earth, and you can listen to Kill James Bond wherever podcasts are found. Check out it's X. Good. Advertisers are on it. She's been on the show before. That's right. She's a draw, folks. Mm. People love Abby. 
Lover. Check out X. <laughs> Check out ecstasy. <laughs> Try tweeting yes. if you haven't done it yet. It's great. Give it tweeting. a give what it a that? go. It's losing its shine a bit. But. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the dude. While the getting's good, I'd say. Thanks for coming. Um, if you're a woman, feel free to stick around and watch more core writers. Uh, I'm glad I brought you here, but like this. We need to help these boys out. Yes, that's right. You're welcome here. All are welcome. Yeah, and if you mm-hmm. learn something, you're welcome. We're all pork at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you learn Avadagra is constant, which is, of course, 6 point not something times 10 to the 23. That's right, 6.023. There's all kinds of facts. I'm going to do yeah. another plug for Theater of Delight Season 6, now on Kickstarter.com <laughs> until the end of December. you got to get on there to back another one of these thrilling seasons. Before the end of December. And if you're watching this after that, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard what I'm saying here. And that's going to be it for us at, here at Quarators. And as we say every week, uh, question everything. Bye. Stay humble. <laughs>